Here is a portion of the game tree from the previous video. That video gave an idea of how an agent could pick the best action by looking at the consequences of those actions deeper in the tree. The process can be made more concrete by assigning a numeric value to each terminal state. In the case of tic-tac-toe, it makes sense to assign a state where x wins a value of 1, a state where O wins a value of negative 1, and a state with a draw a value of 0. This setup allows us to apply an algorithm called minimax to this game tree. At each ply of the tree, where ply is a layer, x picks the state with the maximum value, and o picks the state with the minimum value. And the chosen values propagate up the tree like so. So this value of 1 is the only option from here, and therefore it is also the value of this state. Now O wins in this state, so it has a value of negative 1. And because O is picking the move here, it picks the minimum of these two values, so the value of negative 1 propagates up to be the value of this state in the tree. Now we know from the previous video and from looking at these states that if O makes the next move, then O can easily win here. And we also can see that X has actually won here. So this state has a value of 1, whereas this state would get a value of negative 1. We can speed through the assigning of values to the rest of the states, like so. I've assigned values of 1, negative 1 to states in a portion of this tree. Now as you can see, this tree is somewhat boring because it is filled with only three values. 1, negative 1, and the occasional 0. But this process applies for any arbitrary state values and can also be used with heuristic values instead of actual state values. Using it with heuristics means that we stop the search at some level of the tree and instead of having certainty that the values here are 1, some heuristic method would assign some numeric value to these states. Here is a more interesting game tree that is also smaller and easier to analyze. The up arrow nodes indicate that whatever player takes an action at that level is trying to maximize the score. These downward arrows indicate that the player taking an action at that level is trying to minimize the score. And so, given that information, we can compute the values of the nodes in this game tree, like so. Between 2 and 3, the max is 3. Between 4 and 5, the max is 5. The minimum across those is 3. The max across 1 and 2 is 2. The max across 6 and 10 is 10. The minimum across these is 2. The maximum across 8 and 1 is 8. The max from 9 and 3 is 9. And the minimum is 8. And now the maximum across these three values is 8. Therefore, if a player in a game were trying to choose the best action from this state, it would pick the move that led to this state. 